Autoantibodies is a moderate yield topic and involves a lot of memorization, but it is still valuable for us to make these associations. Remember that these associations are typically used as buzzwords on step, and just noticing them can mean an extra point here or there on test day. So I'm only going to go over a few of these with some clinical scenarios so that you can start to visualize how you should study this particular page in your text. The first aid list is much more extensive, so be sure to make flashcards or at least read over it a few times before test day. Okay, so first off, let's say we have a female patient who presents to your office complaining of months of weight loss despite increased appetite. She claims that sometimes she can feel her heart skip a beat and complains that your office is warm and if you could open a window. She has exophthalmos on gross examination. Think you got the diagnosis yet? It's Graves' disease. But on step one, just knowing the diagnosis may not be enough. They may ask you what autoantibody is associated with this pathology. So do you recall what receptor the autoantibodies work at in this pathology? Anti-TSH receptors, right. When these receptors are activated, they continuously release thyroid hormone, resulting in the clinical presentation we just discussed. Our next patient presents to their dermatologist with multiple skin lesions all over their arms and trunk. The lesions are painful and the top layer of skin sloughs off with some lateral pressure applied. What's the diagnosis? Yes, pemphigus vulgaris, which is Nikolsky sign positive with the skin sloughing. Now, what is the autoantibody? Antidesmogline. Now our third patient comes to the GI doc with a three-month history of recurrent diarrhea and cramping. She claims that she first tried to cut out dairy from her diet with no relief and then tried to cut out meat but still suffering diarrhea. A biopsy of her intestines are done which show blunting of the intestinal villi. What's the diagnosis? Correct, celiac disease. And what might be the autoantibody here? Anti-endomyzeal antibody. You could also see anti-tissue transglutaminase. Whew, that's a long word. 